Hi, welcome to Market Alert for Thursday, 21st of June 2018. So yesterday in the pound, as uh, I've mentioned most of this week, and well again, the markets heading into summer, they can become fairly quiet. And we saw the start of this yesterday as the market traded between uh, Tuesday's close and uh, the low, the market uh, finding support at this level and then eventually breaking out and it's only a 50 pip range uh, in the pound there I had uh, all the hallmarks of uh, being able to move down because the market is short in the background which we'll look at in just a moment but it uh, just came down to uh, the close of Tuesday and then the market reversed and uh, shot up but, uh, then you'll see after that uh, the market did move lower as uh, we've seen before and below all three averages and also below the DP as well. If you look at this in the daily chart, we've spoken about this all week as well that we've had the dead cat bounce and now the resumption of the downside and what with all of the Brexit stuff in the news as well is starting to weigh on the pound as well. And in the weekly chart we drew this in several weeks ago 130 as that uh, base the trend was taken out below the 200, below the 50, uh, the 20, and then the 50, and now heading for the 130, which is uh, an interesting level to say the least, because you can see here that the market was sideways before it eventually broke out to the upside and put in a double top before reversing there. News today: uh, we've got uh, MPC news uh, this morning previous month's uh, votes on what to do with the interest rates two to rise seven to keep the same and then really we've just got uh, Carney out uh, today at 9 15 p.m. after the markets have closed so not a lot in the news there and uh, in the Dow uh, down day again for the Dow more uh, the most number of consecutive days down for the last 18 months for the Dow, the selling comes in after the markets uh, has remained sort of sideways to higher in the pre-market session. Uh, hit with uh, selling, we had Draghi speaking yesterday and Powell at the same time, 2.30, which uh, brought to your attention, which is why we saw the issue in the pound as well, where uh, it moved higher. So the Dow continues lower once it broke the average lines then through the 200 there and you'll see the DP line here and you can see how the market actually uh, wrestled with this and then eventually broke to the downside and before the end of the Carney, not Carney, uh, Draghi and uh, Powell speech you'll see the market uh, settle down here at uh, the psychological level of uh, 24 1650 market uh, bounced back off this but then just remained sideways so whatever they said uh, had an impact on the market if you look at the daily chart uh, you will see uh, the uh, effect there but we've got a bit of a bounce uh, at the moment of the 50 bar moving average just have a look at this in the intraday chart there you can see that uh, quick bounce very similar to what we had uh, yesterday so trying to come back up and have a look at this uh, trend that we've got uh, intact here and see if they can manage to do this. And then finally in uh, Bitcoin remaining sideways but uh, it is putting in some higher lows at the moment. So sort of drifting to the upside. Can it break out to the upside? I very much doubt it. I would expect to see this still come down and retest the 58 to 55 level for this uh, market. Right, that's uh, a quick roundup of uh, yesterday's uh, activity. Uh, the Dow starting to uh, struggle a bit, uh, pound certainly bearish, and uh, Bitcoin sideways to higher at the moment. But uh, how long will that remain? The volume is low, as uh, you can see on the chart there at the moment. Right, that's it. So if there's anything to report, I will let you know. Otherwise, uh, as ever, thanks for watching. See you in the next